he's dead. Do his own father. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. Also the uncut version of this video and all of Avatar up until this point is available on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below. I'm now up to season one, episode 11 and 12 of the Avatar. It has been a long time since I've watched this. So if I forget anything or if I'm not as smart or sharp uh that is why it's been a while so i'm excited to get into it so without further ado let's get watching well if you don't like my firewood ah! <laughs> bye bye me you're not gonna do your job <laughs> sibling rivalry hey, where's the oh no, 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 that's fair appa's got five stomachs <laughs> like my mom when she's dividing food for me and my brother and the only way in and out of the canyon is with his help and why he's my tribe why does he sound like soccer this is actually a really nice show because the fire tribe is like america and all of the other people are um the rest of the world or fire tribe are like the british empire yes <laughs> But they sent me ahead of them to hold a spot. He's so angry. Can you stop yelling? So clean. Maybe you wouldn't live don't so oh, don't don't fight. Y'all both refugees. These people have been <laughs> <laughs> what a con what a contrast. Oh no. They have to walk all the way? That's so annoying. Oh wow, go soccer. Quick thinking. Your arms. They're broken. Oh no, they're stuck. This is gonna be the only way that the Avatar could learn how to earthbend when he's forced to. And Katara, you go with the Ganjins. See if you can find out why they hate each other so much. Yeah, maybe they can get to the bottom of what it really is. Oh, <gasps> they had food. Does this... Okay, I see where this episode is going. Is Katara and Sokka going to go against each other too? Attacked by one of the Zhang. Oh. A vermin named Wei Jin who looked at the orb with envy. They have similar names. Knocked Jin Wei to the ground. Yeah, they do have very similar names. Our people have never forgotten. I bet the other tribe have a very different story. It was a man of the Ganjin tribe, Jin Wei. Oh, this is a very different story. Instead of thanking him for his kind and selfless deed, they sentenced him to 20 long years in Whoa. prison. Whoa. So the feud is political, but the stories are very different. And it kind of shows us how there are two sides to every story. And I don't know, this feud seems to date back hundreds of years ago, and it's still affecting the tribes words will never solve our problems action will <gasps> oh no jewel <laughs> nice angie is that food ang help yourself please everybody else did i only took their side because they fed me <laughs> okay good at least these guys have common sense oh man oh Oh, whoa, I thought he got eaten for a second. Everybody, watch me and do what I do. Just give them the food, right? <gasps> whoa. Now follow me. We're riding out of this hole. Oh, yes. With the canyon crawlers. And he's using the food to for the directions. So smart. What a great little leader he is. Jin? I know those guys. Oh. I was there 100 years ago on the day you're talking about. Oh, okay. They were brothers. Twins in fact. Oh, well that makes sense. Not oh. for 20 long years, but for two short minutes. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. They're literally brothers. <laughs> or like not brothers, but related somehow. That's some luck you knew Jin Wei and Wei Jin. 
You could call it luck. Or a lie. Or you could call it lying. What? I made the whole thing up. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. No one knows the actual story. Wow. He is smart. Diplomatic. So what did we learn in that episode? I think we learned that there are two sides to every story. Chinese whispers is a real thing. And after hundreds of years, a few that nobody really knows the truth about doesn't really matter. What matters is survival. What matters is working together and not allowing the past to divide you because there is a greater threat and that is the Fire Nation and the Fire Nation has hurt both of these tribes equally. And in this instance, it's better to be strong together than to fight each other because they're both refugees. So yeah, I enjoyed that episode. I'm really excited to get into episode 12. So without further ado, let's get watching. Be careful guys. So, why did It's appearing in his dreams. It's turned into a bit of a nightmare. It's a lot of pressure for a 12 year old slash 112 year old. I suggest we alter our course. Yeah, that's what happens when you have blue skies. You have a storm next few days afterwards. The safety of the crew doesn't matter. Oh my god. Zuko. Who are you? Your dad? Ah, you're crazy. It's a nice day. No clouds, no wind, no nothing. So they should come to Australia every time there's really, really good weather. There's a storm. Lieutenant, you'd better learn some respect or I will teach it to you. All right, settle down. You know nothing about respect. <sighs> you don't care about it. Uh oh. Uh oh. What should I expect from a spoiled prince? You've angered him now. We're all a bit tired from being at sea so oh, I love this uncle. Aang is the bravest person I know. He has done nothing but help people. Gotta to gotta love Katara. It's not his fault he disappeared, right, Aang? Oh no. What's wrong? Oh, it is. He was scared. That's right. Keep flying. Dude, he's a ten year old. He was a ten year old. You can't blame him, oldie. God, I hate. God, I hate this old man. Okay. I'll never forget the day the monks told me I was the Avatar. This is interesting. Where'd you learn that trick, Aang? I made it up. Wow! Aang, come with us. We need to speak with you. Oh, yeah, see? He's the only one with the arrow on his head. Just like the other monks. We would have told you of your identity when you turned 16, but there are troubling signs. Storm clouds are gathering. Oh, so he did turn his back. Try to understand. My nephew is a complicated young man. Uncle Iroh is so empathetic and kind and diplomatic and understanding. I want to go into the war chamber, but the guard won't let me pass. This episode's definitely about understanding these characters and their intentions. Wow, and he doesn't even have the scar on his head. Maybe he got it on this day. What better to use as bait than fresh meat? You can't sacrifice an entire division like that. Oh, wow. Our nation. How can you betray them? Oh, wow. So Zuko was actually a nice dude. So what? I can't play? That's the only fair way. Oh, okay. Oh, everyone's leaving him out. And as a kid... They must have Jinju on their team. <laughs> oh, and as a kid, that's really a hard thing to have to go through. A feeling of not belonging, not being able to play. That probably matters more to him than these random responsibilities he never thought or expected to have in his life. Come with me. I must test you. This is why. I don't blame him. The Fire Lord became very angry. Mm -hmm. And this is probably where he gets his scar. Zuko had spoken out against the General's plan. But by doing so in the Fire Lord's war room, it was the Fire Lord... <gasps> oh, he's dead. ...to his own father. Oh. <laughs> He needs to grow up as a normal boy. Yes. 
Agree. That's important. The Avatar will be sent away oh, to the Eastern Air Temple. That's why. That's why he couldn't be his trainer back then. They wanted to take away everything I knew and everyone I loved. <sighs> He's getting angry about it now, all these years later. Oh. As I thought. As I thought. I never saw Gyatso again. Until, obviously, a bit later. Starting to learn about how he ended up in that, in the water. Oh. Next thing I knew, I was waking up in your arms after you found me in the iceberg. Oh, wow. You don't know what would have the world needed me and I wasn't there to help. He's a kid, though. I think it was meant to be. Yeah, if you would everything stay, happens you for a reason. All the other airbenders. Very true, very true. You give people hope. Everybody needs a Katara in their lives, I think. Please, Father, I only had the Fire Nation's best interest at heart. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. Mm. You will fight for your honor. What a terrible dad, dude. I, I looked away. Oh, that's how we got the scar. Zuko had shown shameful weakness. As punishment, he was oh, banished. that's why he was banished. He was banished because he refused to fight his own father. The Avatar gives Zuko hope. Wow. You get to empathize for Zuko a little bit now. Could never really understand him before, but now at least I get it. He's Zuko version 2.0 dark mode. <laughs> Is he gonna die? Oh, Zuko, he's going out to save him. <gasps> Whoa! Come on. What do you want to do, sir? Let him go. Oh. We need to get this ship to safety. Oh. Good call. Good call, Zuko. That was the right thing to do for your people. I mean, even though I don't really like the Fire Nation folk, but I can sort of empathize for Zuko now. Oh, he's going to do his air bending thing or water bending thing. Right now would be really great. <laughs> Has to do the right thing. I can't make guesses about how things would have turned out if I hadn't run away. Very, very wise. Wise kid. I can definitely see why you guys said that episode 12 was a really good one. I think I was expecting a lot more from this episode just because it was being hyped up quite a lot in the comment section. But I think it was an important episode because we finally got to see uh, what happened to little Aang. What made him run away like that because we all knew he ran away because the intro literally tells us that he turned his back on the world um and i guess now that katara knows it is it will be well-known information amongst the trio and i think katara's response was exactly what ang needed um it was compassionate and it was also realistic and logical too i think everything does happen for a reason and of course if he did stay he would have been dead and there'd be no avatars at all. I also love the fact that they humanized the Fire Nation a little bit, especially Zuko. Uncle Iroh was definitely the only person in the Fire Nation crew that I even liked, but now that I know why Zuko was banished and why he is so obsessed with finding the Avatar and bringing him back to his father. I started to empathize with him for the first time. At the end of the day, he's just a teenage boy um, and he just wants approval from his father. Despite the fact that his father is an asshole and uh, he should be happy with his uncle Iroh, to be honest. If I had a dad like that, I would definitely just say peace out dude i prefer my uncle iroh um 
But yeah, those were all of my thoughts about this episode overall. I think it was a great episode. I think it answered a lot of questions and it definitely helped us get more insight into these characters as well. So yeah, those were my thoughts on this episode. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comment section below without any spoilers, please. And do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out. The uncut version of episode 11 and 12 is available on Patreon along with every single single avatar episode up until this very point so check that out if that's something that interests you thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves and i will see you in my next video bye everyone